in this video, we will learn about topic 10, special probability distribution, focus on binomial distribution. So all together in this topic, we will learn about three different um, distribution. And the first one is binomial distribution. So for first, uh, we will identify the main characteristic for binomial distribution. We have four main characteristic here. Okay, first one. Um, for binomial distribution, we will only have two possible outcome called as success and failure. And then next one, when it comes to binomial distribution, we would have fixed number of trial. Trial here represent as N. And then our trial must be independent of each other. And last one, probability of success or our notation is P must be the same for each trial. Or in other words, our probability of success must be fixed. Okay, so proceed with the next one. Example 1, we have to determine whether the following situation can be modelled by binomial distribution. Okay, we have number of head obtained when unbiased coin is toast 10 times. Okay, clearly here um, it mentioned about 10 toes. So that represents our trial, number of trial and, and then it's about obtaining a head. Okay, that is our success. So let's check the other one by one. So for first criteria, remember, when it comes to toast a coin, we would have uh, two possible outcome, either head or tail. And in this case, head classified as success while tail classified as failure. So here we have two possible outcome. So we um, satisfy the first condition. Second one, number of trial must be fixed in, in this case and is 10. Clearly mentioned here. So it's fixed. Okay. And then next one, N is independent. Okay. No problem with that. And last one, probability of success, P, in this case is obtaining head, must be the same for each trial and obtaining a head when we toast a coin is half. And that is also fixed. Since this situation satisfies all four conditions, so we can classify this as binomial distribution model. Okay, let's check another example. Okay, number of black pen obtained when four pen are picked at random, one at a time. Four pen picked at random from a box containing five uh, black pen and then 15 red pen. Okay, so let's check this situation. First one, two possible outcome. Yes, because we either get um, black pen or red pen. So two possible outcome here. And then next one, what is the trial? We have to choose four. So N is four here. So it's fixed, correct? After that, N is independent. Yes, it is independent because we just have to pick a random. And then last one, probability of success here is obtaining black pen. Okay, so if we check here, from the first um, drawn, if we first uh, choose a pen, our probability of obtaining black pen would be 5 out of 20. But then that's for the first one. And then for the second one, we will reduce number of pens. So it will be 4 over 19. After that, it will be 3 over 18. And the list goes on, men's probability is not fixed because for every single run, our sample space would change. So uh, for this situation, it does not fulfill the binomial distribution model. So we cannot use binomial distribution for this situation. Okay. So next part, definition of binomial, sorry, binomial distribution. When it comes to finding the probability, we can use a formula to find the binomial distribution. So we have a fixed formula here. P x equal to x is n c x p to the power of x q to the power of n minus x, where p um, n is basically number of trial, x is success or what the question asks for, uh, 
yang X ni bergantung kepada soalan dah. Okay. And then P is probability of success. And last one Q is the probability of failure. And remember probability of success plus probability of failure must be equal to 1. Okay. So let's do some example. So we have even X distribute with B. B here stand for binomial. 10 and 0 0.9. So following the um, normal distribution of binomial distribution, N here and uh, P must be stated in our distribution. So here clearly N is 10, P is 0 0.9. Okay, that's how we read the distribution. So for first case, we have to find probability X exactly 6. So straight away using the formula, this would be 10 C6. Success is 0 0.9. So 0 0.9 to the power of 6. And then failure is 0 0.1. So 0 0.1 to the power of n minus x. So it will be to the power of 4. Why I get q as 0 0.1? Remember p plus q must be equal to 1. That's why now um, probability of failure is not 0.1. So next, compute this using your calculator, you will get 0 0.0112. For this topic, untuk topik 10 ni, final answer always provide at least 4 decimal places. 4 tempat perpuluhan. Standard untuk topik 10 ya. Okay, next one. We have to find probability x greater than 8. We don't have equal sign there means it's excluded. So we have to start finding the probability when x is equal to 9 and then when x is equal to 10. Stop there at 10. Kenapa berhenti kat 10? Because just now we already know number of trial is only until 10. Dia tak ada x equal to 11 semua tu tak wujud lah. So, kita stop sampai 10. So, since we have two different cases here, find one by one. So, when x equal to 9, so we have 10 C9, success, oh, 0 0.9, sekejap ya. 0 0.9 to the power of 9, 0 0.1 to the power of 1. And then when x is equal to 10, so 10 C10, 0 0.9 to the power of 10, 0 0.1 to the power of 0. Once again, compute this carefully. So this is 0 0.7361. Okay. Next one. Probability at least 2. So start from 2 up till 10. We have to find um, quite number of cases here. So it start from 2 plus probability x equal to 3. And the list goes on until we find probability when x is equal to 10. So, it's quite um, tedious if we want to find one by one. So, what can we do here? We reverse the situation because we know total of probability must be equal to one. So, what I can do here is one, total of everything, minus with case that we don't want in this situation. Kita kena tolakkan dengan probability yang kita tak nak dalam situasi ni. So, siapa yang kita tak nak? When x is equal to zero, and when x is equal to 1. Dua situation tu kita tak nak. Sebab kita nak at least 2. So 2 sampai 10 kita nak. Kosong dengan 1 kita tak nak. That's why kita boleh buat 1 minus with probability when x equal to 0 and when x is equal to 1. After that compute 1 by 1 here. When x is equal to 0, 10 C0. 0 0.9 power of 0, 0 0.1 to the power of 10. And then when x is equal to 1, 10 C1. 0 0.9 to the power of 1, 0 0.1 to the power of 9. So, once again, compute this carefully. This is actually 0 0.9999. Yes, almost 1. Tapi, jangan pergi bundakan pergi 1. Uh, kenapa? Kebab dia bukan total probability. The almost 1 tapi dia bukan exactly at 1. Okay, settle. Okay, let's do another example. So, we have a four-sided die thrown five times. Okay, five times, oh, five times here represent our N. If X, the event, denotes the number of four obtained, that is about success. Probability kita nak dapat nombor empat. Describe the distribution. 
and then find property X exactly 3. So, when it comes to describe this distribution, dia tak payah suruh detailkan apa-apa. We just have to state the distribution and then state the main criteria. So, for binomial distribution, remember we have to mention its binomial and then we must state N and P here. That's how we describe the distribution. So, since our event is X, I still using X, binomial. And just now, we have to throw it five times. So, N is five in this case. And then P for success is obtaining number four. So, bila kita baling dadu, probability nak dapat nombor empat kat sini. Since we only have four-sided dice, it will be one over four. Okay. How about Q? So, Q basically would be 3 over 4. So, once we state the distribution, next part, answering the question, we have to find probability x is exactly 3. Straight away using the formula, this is 5c3, 1 over 4 cube, 3 over 4 squared. Okay. Simplify, this would be equal to 0 0.0879. Okay, settle with this one. Kita try next example. Okay, uh, ni example yang ada cerita-cerita sikit. So, in biology examination, 45% student pass. If a class of 20 student took the examination, find the probability, exactly student, uh, sorry, exactly 15 student pass at least 2, more than 16, not more than 1. Okay, so the situation here is about um, student that pass biology. So, number of student would represent of uh, number of our trial. Student represent number of trial here. Okay. And then, success is about pass the biology exam. So, from here we know now, this is basically binomial distribution uh, involving 20 student and probability of pass the exam is 0.45. Means Q here should be 0 0.55. Okay. So, once we know this info, then we may straight away calculate the probability. Okay. For the first one, we have to find exactly 15 student pass. Okay. So, if it's exactly, maksudnya dia equal. So, we have to find probability X equal to 15. Straight away using formula, this is 20C15. 0.45 to the power of 15, 0.55 to the power of 20. Calculate this up. This is actually 0 0.0049. Quite easy. Kita proceed next one. At least 2. So, maximum, bukan, sorry, minimum 2. This is actually probability x greater or equal to so, same as before, it's quite tedious, akan jadi complicated kalau saya nak kira satu-satu from 2 until 20. Banyak sangat case. So, kita use the reverse process. This is actually 1 minus with probability of x equal to 0 and when x is equal to 1. Okay. So, now 1 minus with when x equal to 0. So, 20 is 0. Success to the power of 0, failure to the power of 20. Plus with 20C1, success to the power of 1, failure to the power of 19. Here our answer is 0 0.9999, almost 1. Okay, next one. We have to find probability more than 16. Means 16 is not included here. So more than 16 means we have to start finding when x is at least 17. Here we would have quite number of cases. So we will have to find when x is 17. When x is 18. x is 19. And last one when x is 20. So we have four different case. Carefully find one by one. So start with first one. So we have 20c17. Success to the power of 17. Failure to the power of 3. Okay. 
Next one, when x is equal to 18, so 20c7, sorry, 18. P, 2 to the power of 18. Q, 2 to the power of 2. Next one, when x is 19, so 20c19. P, 2 to the power of 19. Q, to the power of 1. And then last one, when x is 20, so 20c20. P oh, to the power of 20, Q to the power of 0. And then total up all of this case, you should get 0 0.0003. Okay. Settle. Dia very tedious kan sebenarnya. Banyak sangat case kat sini. Okay, next one. Not more than one student pass. So, maximum. Only one student pass. So, we have two different case here. When x is equal to 0 and when x is equal to 1. So, calculate one by one. We have 20c0, p to the power of 0, q, oh, q to the power of 20. And then, when x is equal to 1, so we have 20c1, p, to the power of 1, Q to the power of 19. Here, our answer is 0 0.00001. Okay. Settle. Okay. As time goes by, um, if we have very large number of... Um, trial n and very large number of x what the question asked for our calculation would be very tedious for example macam ni lah tadi sikit je pun sebenarnya ada four different case calculation kita dah jadi panjang so takkanlah kita nak kena kira satu-satu every time this happen betul contohnya kalau saya ada n is 40 number of trial is 40 and then we have to find probability x greater than 20 takkan kita nak kira satu-satu daripada 21 sampai 40 Dah jadi, tak logik kan buang masa exam macam tu je. So, in order to avoid that tedious calculation, we may start finding the probability by using binomial table. Okay, kita ada statistic binomial table that can help us find the probability. You just have to straight away read from the table. But, be careful here, when it comes to statistic table, dia akan baca probability at least of that number. Uh, dia baca greater or equal. Dia tak baca exactly at that number. Nanti kita akan buat example lah nak biar lebih faham apa benda yang saya masukkan kat sini. So, okay jangan risau. Bila kes terlampau banyak, tak perlu kira satu-satu. Uh, macam dalam gambar tu nak pening, sakit kepala dah banyak sangat kes. Okay, tak perlu. Jangan risau. You can use binomial table. Okay, so that's what we want to practice now. Example 5, if our n is 20 and p is 0 0.35, by using binomial table, find the following. Okay, so always remember what I said just now. When it comes to binomial table, it always read probability of at least that number. Okay, lebih besar atau sama dengan dia bukan baca sama dengan. Okay, first one, we want to find probability greater than 5. So, 5 nak, kita tak nak 5 tu kenapa? Sebab dia tak ada equal kat situ. So, if I adjust this, this is actually equal to probability at least 6. Okay, so dah sama notation dengan table, kita dah boleh start baca table. Okay, how do we read this table? So, open up your table from the first page itself, okay. Ini dia tulis dah, table of binomial probability. And then from the first column nampak, itu N. And then first row itu semua P. R in this case is our question, X. Okay, tadi kita ada N is 20. So, awak start cari N 20. Kita ada stop kat sini. Okay, dia jumpa N is 20 here. But then, P is 0 0.35. Kalau kita refer kat first row tu, tak ada P yang 0 0.35. So, maksudnya P kita bukan ada kat sini. Dah salah nilai. Dah salah muka surat. Kita kena cari next one. Cari lagi. N is 20. Okay. Kat bawah ni. Alright. Kita dah jumpa dah. N is 20. Okay. 
Okay. And then P is 0 0.35. Ada kat situ. Okay. So maksudnya kita akan fokus kat kolom yang ada P 0 0.35 sini. Saya start buat row. Ah, kat situ. Start row bawah ni yang kita akan tengok nilai yang berkaitan. Okay. Ini kalau dalam buku statistik, buku surat tujuh eh. Okay. So just now kita nak cari at least six. So bila at least six, awak cari when your R is equal to six. And then straight away baca. Tarik R pergi kat P is 0 0.35. So from here terus nampak. Our value is 0 0.75 for 6. Okay. So that would be our answer. Teruslah dapat jawapan. This is 0 0.75 for 6. Ha, senang kan? Senang. Kalau Senang kalau kita reti baca table. Okay, tak apa. Kita practice lagi. Next one. Between 2 up to 7. Okay, yang ni kita ada problem sikit. Kenapa lagi sekali? Sebab table sentiasa baca greater equal. Tapi kita sekarang nak di antara 2 up to 7. Okay, so to adjust this, apa yang saya buat saya selalu lukis kotak. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, and then share datekan kawasan yang kita nak. So yang saya nak, be, uh, from 2 up to 6 betul sebab dia between uh, 2 up to 7 2 kita tak nak 7 pun kita tak nak ok itu je kawasan yang saya nak so from here kita baca apa yang table baca greater equal kan so maksudnya kalau saya nak bermula dengan 3 so saya akan start baca daripada greater or equal to 3 ok bermula kat situ saya dapat share that region buang kawasan yang saya tak nak tolak so yang saya tak nak 7 and above itu semua saya tak nak Nanti kita akan dapatlah exactly shaded region yang saya dah tulis tu. So this is actually probability at least 3 minus probability at least 7. Okay. Now once dah adjust, awak teruslah refer to your stack table just now. Saya patah balik pergi table. Okay. So saya pakai kali biru pula eh. Okay. Kita nak apa tadi? At least 3. So baca when R is 3, kita dapat 0 0.9879. After that when it's 7. Okay. Kita dapat 0 0.5834. Okay. Those two value yang kita nak guna sekarang ni. Masuk balik dalam calculation. So this is actually 0 0.9879 minus with 0 0.5834. So, our answer would be 0 0.4045. Okay. Itu cara kita nak adjust. Problem dia sikit lah. Kita kena pandai adjust so that kita baca notation kat tempat yang betul. Kita practice lagi. Next one. So, we have to find probability less than 4. Okay. Kalau tak pasti lagi sekali, kita lukis kotak lah. So, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6 cukup lah. Saya ambil random je. Okay. Less than 4. Maksudnya 4 nak tak? Kita tak nak 4 tu. So kawasan yang saya nak is 3 and below. Less than 3. Uh, at most 3. So kawasan yang depan ni semua saya tak nak. And we know total of probability must be 1. So this is actually the same as 1 minus with probability at least 4. Okay. Probability at least 4. Refer back to your table just now. Okay. Saya pakai colour pink lah pula. Okay. Bacalah when R is 4. So probability is 0 0.9556. Okay. So that we will use in our calculation. 0 0.9556. So our answer would be 0 0.0444. Ha. Calculation kita dah jadi pendek Dah jadi lagi simple Provided that you know how to adjust Our notation ha. Cara nak baca at least at least tu Okay kita cuba lagi sekali Next example Okay so we still have Binomial distribution Now n is 5 P is 0 0.3 Nampak dah berubah tu Jangan tengok kat page yang sama Okay first case We want to find at least 3 So for at least 3 Tak ada masalah Straight away terus refer to the table kan Sebab notation kita dah memang Greater equal Okay for stacks table Jangan baca kat sini lagi tau Sebab tadi dah berubah kan Kita kena cari when n is 5 Okay n is 5 ada dekat sini Page 5 Okay n is 5 And then our P is 0 0.3. So 
So kita nak start baca uh, kawasan bawah ni. Okay saya dah tekan situ. So first one tadi kita cari apa? When it's at least three. So kita baca R is three straight away from the table. It is 0 0.1631. Okay. 0 0.1631. Okay. Next one. When x is greater than 3. So nak ketiga? Tiga kita tak nak. So if I add just this is x at least 4. Okay. So go back to your table. Find when r is 4. Dapat apa kat situ? 0 0.0308. So that straight away would be our answer. 0 0.0308. Okay. Next one. When it's at most 3. So paling banyak kita nak 3. Sama macam tadi. Kalau tak pasti nak adjust, lukis kotak eh. So 2, 3, 4, 5. Cukup lah tu. Okay. Saya nak at most 3. So 3 and below. Ini semua kawasan yang saya nak. 4 dan ke atas ini semua saya tak nak. So what can we do here? This is actually 1 minus with probability at least 4. So at least 4 kita dah cari tadi kat atas 0 0.0308. So here our answer will be 0 0.9692. Okay. Kita cuba lagi next one. Okay. Probability x less than 3. So less than 3, 3 tu kita tak nak. Okay. Lagi sekali kalau tak pasti lukis kotak. Okay. Saya lukis kotak sekarang. 2, 3. One, two, three, four. Cukuplah tu. Okay. Less than three. Tiga kita tak nak. Maksudnya two and below. At most two. So, sama konsep macam tadi. Satu. Buang kawasan yang kita tak nak kat situ. So, this is actually one minus probability at least three. So, at least three kita dah cari awal-awal tadi. Zero point. 1631. So our final answer here 0 0.8369. Hmm. Okay last one. Probability x exactly 3. Okay kalau macam tadi kita dah belajar when exactly tu kita pakai formula lagi cepat dapat jawapan. But for this question it straight uh, strictly ask us to find using binomial table. So kita nak kawasan betul-betul kat tengah ni je. Exactly 3 tu je kau tak tu je. Sama juga kita pakai konsep tolak-tolak. Okay so apa yang kita buat kat sini. When it's at least 3. Buang kawasan yang tak nak. Siapa yang kita nak? Ah, uh, Ke depan ni semua saya tak nak kan. So buangkanlah dengan at least 4. So this is actually probability at least 3 minus with probability at least 4. Nanti kita dapatlah exactly at 3. So 0 0.1631 minus with 0 0.0308. So here our final answer 0 0.1323. Okay. Kita ada dua example about um, how to find probability by using binomial table. Kita proceed next part about mean and variance for binomial distribution. So for mean or uh, they can use notation uh, EX ataupun expected value ataupun expectation semua sama eh. Mean, expected value, expectation, E, X, mu. Semua tu sama. Our formula is fixed, N times P. And then for variance, our formula is N times P times Q. Itu pun fixed. Saya tambah lagi satu. So, they can also ask for standard deviation. Okay, so for standard deviation, it will be set of NPQ. Okay. So let's do example. Example 7. We have to find value of N if our distribution is binomial, N is unknown, P is 0 0.22. And then given info expectation is 11. So using that part, we can straight away find N. Why? Because since expectation is 11, means n times p must be 11. So, in order to find n, 11 divide by our p, 0 0.22 in this case. So, n here will be 50. Okay. 
Next one, we have to find variance. So variance based on the formula is actually n times p times q. Our n is 50, p is 0 0.22, so q straight away should be 0 0.78. How do we find this? Because we know q is basically 1 minus p. That's how we get 0 0.78. Calculate this up. Variance should be 8.58. Okay. And then last one. We have to find probability x is exactly 4 straight away. Using formula, this is actually uh, 50c4. Success to the power of 4. Q to the power of 46. And minus x. Here, you should get 0 0.00. 59k. Okay. Semuanya simple-simple je. Straightforward. Tak ada apa-apa yang pelik. Um, quite easy if you understand all of the formula. Okay. Kita cuba lagi next one. A coin is toast 40 times. Find the mean and standard deviation of the number of head appeared. Okay. So from here, they didn't mention at all about the binomial distribution but we know this is binomial. Why? Because we have 40 toast. Okay, that's represent N. And then success is about obtaining the head. So, markah pertama, you have to state the distribution first. So, this is binomial distribution with 40 as N and then 0 0.5 as our success P. So, because this is following binomial distribution, barulah proceed find the mean based on the formula just now. It's n times p. So, 40 times with half. That's how we get 20. Okay. Next part, we have to find the standard deviation that is set of n p q. So, set of 40 times half times half. Here, we should get set of Okay, so jangan lupa Must state our distribution first Dah state distribution Barulah boleh gunakan formula Nak cari mean dengan standard deviation Based on binomial distribution Okay, next example Okay, example 9 so, of all the pupils in a particular school, 45% go to school by bus. In a random sample of 30 pupils, calculate mean of pupils go to school by bus. Probably not more than 10 of people go to school by bus. Okay. So, once again, understand the situation. Pupils here represent our trial. Success is about go to school by bus. So, first step. Sorry, first step, mention about distribution. So, this is X distribute with B of 30 and 0 0.45. Q would be 0 0.55. So, once we get the distribution, you can straight away un um, answering the question. First one, we have to find mean. So, it's N times P. So, 30 times with 0 0.45 here, we should get 13.5. Okay, next one, part B, probability, not more than 10. So, means at most 10, maximum 10. Okay, takkan kita nak guna formula kat sini kan? Daripada 10 saya nak kira sampai 30, panjang lah kes. So, we can use the table. But careful here, simbol dia kurang atau sama dengan. Table baca greater or equal, tak sama sign. So, you have to adjust. Okay, macam biasa. Lukislah kotak kalau tak pasti. Saya nak kawasan 10 and below. So, kita boleh buat 1 minus kawasan yang kita tak nak. So, this is actually 1 minus probability at least 11. Next, refer to your table. Okay. Kita tak boleh dah pakai table kat sini sebab tadi N dengan P dah berubah lagi sekali. N now is 30. Okay, cari N 30 here. P is um, 0 0.45 just now. Sekejap patah balik 0 0.5 oh dia kat sini. Okay, N is 30, P is 0 0.45. So, kita akan refer kepada table bahagian ni. Okay, and then kita nak cari apa tadi? R is at least 
11. So when it's at least 11, kita terus dapat kat situ 0 0.8650. So dapatlah 1 minus with 0 0.8650. So our final answer is 0 0.135. Kan? Dia jadi simple kalau kita terus tahu. Okey, nak buat apa? Reti tangsit soalan. Formula dia apa? Nak baca table macam mana? Ha, kalau faham semua konsep tu, tak ada masalah. Kita proceed last question. Okey. A local swimming club, uh, the expected number of members are 4.5 and then variance is 3.15. Find the probability that at least three member can swim. Okay. So, we know now this is binomial distribution because I the expected number dengan variance kat situ. From here, we can find the distribution detail. Okay. So, tulis dulu formula. Expected number is basically mean. Mean is n times p. That is 4.5. Okay. First info. Next, we have variance and PQ that is 3.15. Oh. 3.15. That is the second info. Substitute and P into our second equation. Straight away, you may get Q. And here, Q is 0 0.7. So, since Q is 0 0.7, P straight away will be 0.3. Using this substitute back into the detail, we may find n as n is actually 4.5 divided by 0.3. Here we may know that actually n is 15. So from this detail, now we can state that we have actually binomial distribution with n is 15 and success is 0.3. Now, dah boleh jawab soalan probability at least 3. Okay, at least 3 straight away you may find from your table. Tapi sekarang hati-hati. N dah berubah lagi sekali. Jangan refer kat page yang sama. N is 15. Okay, kat sini. N is 15. P just now is 0 0.3. Okay, 0.3 ada dekat tengah-tengah. Jangan salah tengok kat sini eh. At least 3. So, R is 3. Straight away from there, you get 0 0.8732. And that will be our final answer. So, that's all for binomial distribution.